thank you for tuning in to another episode. Uh, I appreciate every single one of y'all that watch my videos. It's super awesome. And um, I hope that you guys get something from them. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jordan and uh, this is my Forerunner. Today, we are uh, installing these solar panels right here. These are from a company called Lensun Solar. They sent us these panels and uh, they're awesome. I like them a lot. But we got the whole install on video. I'm gonna go through the process, the unboxing, uh, the materials you'll need, and uh, basically just do a product review on them. But yeah, these are made specifically for my uh, Forerunner. But they have all kinds of hood solar panels for different vehicles, all types of Toyota vehicles, off-road vehicles. I think they make them for vans and RVs too. They have tons of cool products on their website. So go check them out. I will link everything in the description below. Uh, the company again is Lensun Solar. That's enough talking for me guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll the, uh, the install video now and get started on that and uh, we'll see you here in a minute. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start this uh, unboxing. So I got the full kit. It has the panels, the 3M, the controller, everything. Um, it comes with one big box. I assume this is the panels. Uh, this is the skinny box, I don't know what this is, and then this smaller box right here. So I'm going to open these up and uh, we'll see what's in there. Okay, so here is the contents. So obviously we have our solar panels. Uh, there's one for each side. And then the square one is the one that goes on top of the hood scoop. And we have the underlayment right there, these three black pieces. That's what you lay on your hood and then the panels go on top of that. All the wiring, the instructions, the controller box, the wiring for that. And then I have my 3M tape to mount the panels to the underlayment. But uh, everything was packaged really nice. Um, there was literally boxes within boxes, so nothing was going to be damaged. Uh, yeah, so far it's looking good. But now what I'm going to do is I am going to get some degreaser, start prepping my hood, and uh, cleaning everything and getting the dust off. hood is clean and everything's prepped I'm just basically gonna lay the panels out before I do the underlayment and I'm gonna use a washable marker and kind of trace things out that way when I put the underlayment on I won't have any issues with it being uh, off center or anything like that Alright, so basically what I just did was I put the panels down where I wanted them and I marked it with a marker on uh, all four corners and uh, this is just one of my kids washable Crayola markers. So that way when I lay the underlayment, um, I'm not going to have any issues aligning it or anything that I'm just going to match the underlayment with these four corners and we should be good to go. Let's do it. I got 
got this second side on and I made some changes on how I put it on. Um, we found out that you can spray these with soap and water. I just use regular dish soap and water. And you spray the hood and then you spray it underneath the vinyl as well. And it makes it so much easier to put on without getting air bubbles in there. So the first side I did, I did not spray with soap and water and I had to squeegee out probably 50 air bubbles. But with this one, we use soap and water and I'll do it on the, uh, the hood right now. All you do is spray it, spray the bottom of the vinyl, lay it down and that gets rid of all the air bubbles and makes it easier to position and just basically easier to work with. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on the uh, hood section and I'll show you guys how we're doing it. So we are putting this vinyl on the, not the vinyl, we're putting this 3M on the panels. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run one like this, run one along the other side, and then some across the middle as well. That way we make sure everything's adhering to the hood. We can get this thing open. Okay, we got them all 3M down now, so got our middle one, left and right, and now uh, we're going to start putting them on the hood. jugs now and I'm going to leave those on there just to weigh it down for a little bit and help it uh, adhere to that metal. Alright, it's dark out now. Um, basically what I did was I weighed down the solar panels, the all the adhesive, I put water jugs on two of them and on that one I put a little one of my little generators and uh, roto packs it's full of gas so these have been sitting on here for a few hours now um, I think you know it's pretty permanent at this point because uh, we heated up the adhesive before we put them on as well so we should be good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off all of this stuff and then we're gonna start on getting everything wired up so the kit came with these little hangers uh, for the wires it's got a 3M backing and then it just has a little gap in it to where you run a zip tie. So you just stick this to the roof of your, or not to the roof, but to the inside of your hood and then you run the zip tie under, you run the wires through the zip tie. So I'm going to start wiring everything and uh, get these things on, um, see if I can get it as neat as possible. <laughs> finish on them. It's kind of like a matte black finish. You can't really see the actual panels in there when it's uh, overcast like this. But uh, they came out awesome. And they look really cool on the truck. 
Let me back up and give you a broad view of how they look on there. You can see that. Gives it a, uh, a different look, that's for sure. But I'm gonna pop the hood real quick and uh, and I'll show you what, what it looks like underneath in the daytime. All right, so you can see over there, that's the wire for the passenger side, wire for the middle one, and wire for the driver's side. And then they all meet right there in those plastic, um, I don't even know what you call them, connectors. It's super easy. I've wired so much stuff on this truck and that's the easiest wiring I've ever done. And I just mounted my controller right there on top of the fuse block. And these are the accessory wires. I have not uh, figured out what I want to do with those yet. So right now the panels are just charging my battery. And um, I can charge something else with these two wires, but I, uh, I just haven't thought of anything yet that I want to use them for. I'll probably end up using them to, um, I don't know, maybe charge up a jackery or something like that. Put some alligator clips on them. Who knows? And then right there you can see these lights. So the green one is flashing, which means that I am getting uh, some power from the panels which is pretty impressive because there's zero sun out right now. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote for this one. Appreciate you guys watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, we do everything, installs, we go on trips, we just fishing trips, camping trips, family trips. Uh, and um, one of my favorite things to do though are these installs and uh, product reviews. I think it's really cool. And I want to say thank you to Lensun Solar for sending us these panels and uh, letting us try them out. Sweet deal. I like them a lot. Um, I recommend them to you guys. If I didn't like them, I would tell you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.